time to wire the car. As you can see we have a spaghetti, spaghetti without the sauce here. So let's just take it easy, take a deep breath. I'm going to show you how to wire a car. It's the same process for any car. This is a generic painless wiring system. Let's get to it. One of the first things we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to locate the old fuse box, okay? And we are going to replace, you know, probably the same location I did on this one, but it doesn't really matter where you put it, but I'll show you. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take this pile of wire and we're going to separate it into uh, groups that go to the motor, groups that go to the dash, groups that go to the back of the car, etc. So let me show you that. Let's get doing. Let's get going on that. This is what we're using. It's a painless system. Painless wiring harness. It's, a, it's an American-made product. American made product. Once again, do not put Chinese garbage into a classic car. Please don't do it. Thank you. American made product. Okay. Comes with an instruction manual. Okay. Lots of pages. You, you, you can't. All your information is right here. Now, I've done enough of these over the years where, you know, this is a universal kit. They don't make a specific kit for a 56 Oldsmobile. But this will do fine because it has all the components. All right, let's get into it. We're going to separate. Here we go. Separate wires. These are already pretty much pre grouped together. Um, I already have the rear tail lights, etc., brake lights already underneath the floor here. I didn't get them to the back into the truck, but I already got them in the back. Uh, coming out here we have fuel gauge, uh, instrument panel, this stays, this goes to the front, it's going to stay in the front. I want the stuff that goes to the motor right now, which is going to be, let's see, brake light switch, that goes up, that's here, that's in here, engine, Brake switch, that's the power for the brake switch. Uh, ignition, this goes to the engine. This is an engine. So we gotta start putting the engine stuff there. So I just wanna go through here, separate everything the best I can. They give you plenty of wire. Don't cut anything to the very end, please. Don't cut anything. They give you enough wire to go to the moon. All right, alternator, front light section, uh, horns. Okay, this all goes to the front. What's this guy doing here? Uh, eyeballs, engine, oil sender. This goes to the sending unit on the motor. This goes to the motor. All right, so we just got to clean this up so I can get this through the firewall. Let's go through the firewall, add it to the motor, and, you know, keep it all out there. We're going to separate everything, get this all cleaned up. That's the goal. My ignition switch. Ignition switch. Keep him here. This is... This is to the battery, I bet. That's a big one. Power source. That goes to the battery. Motor. That's motor. Got a couple stragglers. Brake switch output. Electric choke. That's motor. Starter solenoid. This goes all motor. This is all motor. Okay. 
So this, let's see what's in here. Most of this should be under the dash. Ignition switch. Ignition switch. This goes through the key switch. Next day is like a stay right there. I think most of this stuff here is going to go to the dash. Uh, air com AC. I don't have AC. I don't have to worry about that guy. Front, left, cooling fan relay. Well, I do have a fan, but that, I don't need that. Uh, reverse switch. Reverse switch. Output to reverse switch. That goes here on the floor. Radio power, definitely. That stays here. I know what you're saying. Once we have the wire separated like we do, I want to show you under the dash because there's a lot of wire, you know, looks like this, you know, you know, or whatever, looks like this. Not good. But you just don't want to go in there and start cutting because we're going to have to re-terminate all this stuff. And I'll show you what I use. I have a whole little toolbox of connectors whatsoever, but I like to use these little guys here, which just came out, you know, not too long ago. These are called uh, solder stick connectors. You, they work like butt splices, basically. So you would take one, put the wire at each end, and there's a little bit of solder in the middle. You just heat it up, melt it, shrink wraps it together. So they're relatively reasonably cheap. So. In this example, where we're taking new wiring harness to a, to an old vehicle, these things these things work work great. I got it right. Yeah, there you go. One more time. These things work great. Just check them out. Nothing beats a soldered connection. No no little wire nuts in in, in a car. This isn't a house. You want to solder all your connections the best you can. Anyway, you know. Just want to show you a little trick. Trick number one hundred. 37 I got my wires going for the trunk right for the tail lights right a little palm oil of soap a little palm oil of soap on the wire okay and you want to take all of the tie wraps off take all the tie wraps off because they're going to get stuck okay now it's good to have somebody help you but if you don't just Take your time. I'm going to go in the trunk. I'm going to pull this through. All right, so everything, everything for the back, we have routed into the trunk. All right, now we can put the seat back. I'm going to put the seat back in and clean this up. Uh, and I have everything routed. I have, I have the, uh, Light switch, I have ignition, ignition wires, okay, in, um, motor, everything for the motor is here in the front now, and let me just show you under the dash quick, yep, sure, alright, under the dash, uh, what we have, okay, as you can see, Come on, focus. We have the fuse box and I have the wire harness here. Nice, it's all in there, loomed up nice. Nothing is sticking out on the bottom anymore. Everything that's loose, for example, this, this wire here goes to my dimmer, dimmer switch. All right, that goes to the headlight switch. And I wanna show you one more thing. There's a lot of wires in this that's just that's left here these wires are not all being used because these are uh, wiper switches i don't have wipers i have vacuum switches i have vacuum wipers there's uh you have your radio you have your um ac i don't have ac there's, there's a lot of switches in here and, and wires that i don't need those are going to get capped and rolled up all right so we are roughed in, basically. 
We have all the wires roughed in basically where they need to go in the car. I am ready to start terminating. All right, what I got here is a is a power supply. I made this in a kit probably 15, maybe even 20 years ago I made this. Um, and here's what it does. All right, here's what it looks like. A little power supply, it's DC and AC. And when you're wiring a car, for example, I wanna check I want to check my my turn signals down here, okay? So I find I come up here to the terminal and I find the ground. I got the ground up here and I got my hot hooked up 12 volt DC, right? So this is adjustable. This is adjustable right here. I have it set at 12 volts. Turn it on. Okay, lights on. All right, I'm just testing there. Boom, lights working. All right? Turn it on. Okay, etc. And what what this power supply allows you to do is basically go through and pre-check your wiring as you're hooking up whatever you're hooking up. Lights, turn signals, dash lights. You just hook up to the ground and you find yourself, you know, what would be the hot lead to that particular device, radio, whatever it is. It's a great little item to use because you don't want to wait until the end you have the car all done hook it up to the battery and then find out something's not right because then you're back to tracing out you know you don't know what is wrong and what is good so as you go i would recommend getting something a tester or something that can gives you gives you 12 volts even the battery if you have a good battery you can set the battery with, with some wire and you can hook up each individual circuit as you go you can power up the fuse box okay take the fuses out of uh, out of all the uh, uh, fuse banks and then start one at a time front lights put that fuse in go to the front and you can actually hook everything up as you go little tip let me show you some of the tools you're going to need you can use a, a probe okay this is commonly used in automotive Why? this is hooked to ground and then if I have something hot in the car, all right, the light comes on. This just shows that you have a voltage present of, you know, 12 volts or 6 volts. Depends what kind of car you're working on, okay? Another gadget I use is a, is a multimeter. Now, this is going to tell me not only voltage, but it also has a continuity tester, which will tell me if there's a short in a wire, if it's a break in a wire. But this is the same thing. We set it to DC. And then I can go on to my common or ground and hook it up to the hot. I like to test everything as I hook it up. That way you know where the last thing was wrong. So we're going we're gonna to keep going on this. We're going to start doing the connections in the next video. Please stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, everybody. We gotta, we gotta hit the boots quick. Oh, this one got some crap on it.